We're going to talk about another really great controversial topic today, cholesterol. And doesn't that scare people? Friend or foe? Well, look, it, the answer is a bit more nuanced than that. And it, I mean, I, I'm not trying to hedge my bets here, but it can be either. And let me explain how. So when we're talking about cholesterol, first of all, you have to understand that when we medically we use the term cholesterol, we're not talking about cholesterol at all. So when we talk about this LDL cholesterol, an LDL particle is a complex particle made of proteins and all these other things, and it carries cargo inside. And part of that cargo it carries is cholesterol. But the whole unit itself is called a lipoprotein. So let's get that very straight. So first of all, cholesterol is not what we think we're measuring on a standard blood test. So if we're talking about LDL, which is euphemistically called bad cholesterol, we absolutely know for a fact that if you increase the saturated fat in your diet, then that might increase. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. And the reason is because we've got different populations of LDL cholesterol. Now, 20 or 30 years ago, even 40 years ago, we used to just worry ourselves with what your total cholesterol number was at the top. And then we said, well, this total, and I say cholesterol in parentheses, underneath that we've got two subsets. We had what's called HDL cholesterol, the so-called good, and LDL, which is the so-called bad. But we can actually break this bad cholesterol down into further populations, depending on whether it's been damaged or not. And if that LDL is undamaged, then it has no health consequences at all. It can be as high as you like, and you should be happy as Larry. But if it gets damaged, that's when it can find itself lining your blood vessels, and that's when it does cause problem. What but damages it? Sugar. Uh -huh. And here's a lot of people don't realise that. So it undergoes a process called glycation. So the sugar molecule can attach to one of the proteins on the outside of the LDL. And when it attaches to it, it changes how that LDL functions and it can no longer do what it normally does. It can't be recycled by the liver. And so in that state, the numbers of them begin to accumulate in the bloodstream. And it's the sugar damage that led to that initial process that allows them to accumulate. And because it can't be taken out of the body by the normal mechanisms, it ends up being taken up by the lining of the blood vessels into these cells called macrophages. They're like little Pac-Men, and they, they just swallow all of these LDL particles. But these macrophages won't touch healthy cholesterol. They'll only touch the damaged cholesterol. So I think you could summarise it by saying that saturated fat makes your cholesterol go high, but it's sugar that makes your cholesterol go bad. Mm, beautifully put. Thank you.